And as Florida continues to prepare for Hurricane Milton to make landfall, one couple made the journey from Florida all the way to Kentucky to escape the storm. ABC 36's Jane Davenport sat down with them and shares what their evacuation process was like and how long it took for them to get here. 27 hours. And it is a 15 hour drive. Tim and Debbie Williams live in Port Charlotte, Florida, one of the areas directly in the path of Hurricane Milton. I was watching the news the whole time and he came on and said, uh, if you don't leave, you will die. So they left, driving through bumper to bumper traffic, the average speed on the highway, 18 miles per hour. They eventually opened the shoulders of the road. You know, normally you can't drive that. <laughs> the people were just flying up down through there and- uh, The shoulders were like, oh gosh. Yes. But it was that packed. And when they stopped for gas- We pulled off in Tarpon Springs, Florida, to get gas and um, discovered that there wasn't any gas. Everybody was just walking around like zombies. Uh, they, they just didn't know, didn't know what to do. And uh, it was kind of like we were all in the same boat. Before they hit the road, they did what they could to protect their home. I put shutters, metal shutters, up all the way around and um, took everything away from the windows, uh, unplugged all the appliances and everything and brought everything in and set it up high. We even set the bar stools on the kitchen table. Yeah. The neighborhood the Williams live in was issued a mandatory evacuation order, but they say not all of their neighbors left. Florida officials asking those who are staying to write their name on their arm so they can be identified if needed. You were given the opportunity to evacuate. So you have to be safe because there are medical emergencies and things that happen that even stress brings on. Even though the journey was long and hard, the Williams are thankful they made it to Richmond and out of harm's way. He drove the whole 27 yeah, hours. Yeah. We stopped for one hour nap, and then we stopped again yeah. for about 50 minutes, like hours mm -hmm. later, and that was all the sleep we had in 27 hours. Yeah. And while they're hoping for the best and preparing for the worst. We intend to head back on the, the weekend very nervous about the traffic going back because six million people evacuated and they've all got to get back to where they're going to. Right. But if there is no electric or, the, I mean, there's nothing there, I mean, we don't know what to expect. Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall sometime overnight, which doesn't give those who stayed time to escape. In Richmond, Jane Davenport, ABC 36 News Now.